So another month, another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Today is episode 13, and I've got another three pretty phenomenal setups to showcase to you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So to start us off today, we have this super vibrant, bright and colorful two-page setup sent in from Suraj. And I thought that this one was a nice change from the minimal desaturated setups that I normally showcase. And even though this setup is definitely not super minimal, it's still got a cool design to it with lots of functionality baked in. Starting with that wallpaper, this has been sent through directly by Suraj, but this is obviously what gives the whole setup that very vibrant look to it. In saying that, what I really like about it is that it's just those two very complementary colors, the red and the blue, and that means it still feels clean and organized and not too overpowering. From there, you can see that we've got lots of different widgets on this page, and most of these are actually self-made and have been directly sent through, so I will also link them down below. But starting at the top, we have a text box widget, which is the OnePlus slogan saying, never settle, but you could no doubt adjust this to say anything that you'd like. And then below that, we have a date, day, and clock widget. And this is an altered widget from the minimal UI widget pack for Super Widget Pro. And this is using widget 52 to be precise. And then Suraj has added a faded black rectangle to the background of this widget so that it stands out a little further. In fact, throughout the entire two page setup, you'll notice that he's got a similar faded black rectangle behind each of the different widgets that helps to unify the entire setup despite there being so many different widgets. Coming below that, we have a Google Assistant icon widget, which tapping on launches the Google Assistant. And then below that, we have a custom made days remaining in the year widget, which I've set up to trigger the Google Calendar app. Below that was originally another custom text box, but I took the liberty to change this to a battery bar widget, which tapping on will jump into the battery settings, which I thought fit the look of the setup a little bit more. And then just below that, we have a set of eight application icons. These are all sitting on that same faded black background widget. These applications are using icons from the CandyCon icon pack, which look pretty nice. And then below that, we have a Google search custom text box widget, which obviously triggers a Google search when you tap on it. Moving on to the second page, and here we have both the Never Settle and Google search custom widgets in the same spot as the previous page. And because of that unique page transition, it makes it look as though they are persistent widgets, even though they are not. Then smack bang in the middle is the month calendar widget, which is also on top of a faded black rectangle. Below that to the left, we have a further four application icons, once again sitting on a faded black rectangle widget. And then aside from that, swiping up takes us into the app drawer, which matches the aesthetic of the rest of the setup with that semi-transparent black background there. And we have four folder icons up the top for games, Google apps, music, and social applications. But that is it for this setup. Pretty different one to what I normally showcase, but I like the creativity involved here to really make this setup unique. Next up is Cliff's one page setup, a bit more subdued than the previous setup, not as much going on, but a very attractive design that will look great on just about any device. So that Spaceman wallpaper is taken from the AMOLED wallpapers application. And what I love about this wallpaper is firstly, it will look great on any device with an OLED screen because of those rich areas of black throughout. But then secondly, all of that negative space up the top allows us to place widgets and icons without worrying at all about whether you'll be able to see them clearly or not. Moving to that widget up the top, this is a date, day and time widget. And it's also been taken from the minimal UI widget pack. I feel as though this one, whilst it does stand out quite a bit in comparison to the rest of the home screen, it still ties in nicely and doesn't feel out of place. It even looks like that little spaceman is looking up at that widget. Not only that, but you can also set that widget up to trigger your calendar application of choice when you tap on it. So a nice bit of functionality available there. Coming below that, and we have two rows of five application icons, and the red icons on the outer edges come from the Flatcons red icon pack, and then the white icons in the middle portion are taken from the Gel Dark icon pack. And these two icon packs work perfectly with each other, particularly on a dark background such as this, and I love the creativity implemented here in utilizing two different icon packs. Aside from that, swiping up into the app drawer presents a pretty nonchalant app drawer, nothing too outrageous going on here. But aside from that, that is about it for this setup, clean and very visually appealing. And finally today, we have a single page home screen set up by Unjal. And this one has utilized widgets really well, much like the first setup to help the different assets and elements stand out on this fairly busy backdrop. And so speaking of that backdrop, this is again being sent through directly, which is nice. And I do like the color palette of this wallpaper. It's not in your face and over the top, but there's still quite a lot happening within the image to maintain good interest. From there, we have three main shape widgets up the top left, in the middle, and then the bottom right. And these have all been custom made and they serve as bounding boxes and backdrops for the app icons and other widgets that otherwise would have been pretty difficult to see on top of this backdrop. 
Now up the top left on top of the custom made corner widget is a time, date, day and battery percentage widget. This again comes from the minimal UI for Zuper widget pack and tapping on this launches into the clock application. In the middle, we have a set of five application icons, which makes this the most minimal setup in today's episode. But these are using icons from the Lions icon pack, which I feel fits in perfectly with the overall aesthetic of this setup. What's also great is that swiping on each of the apps triggers a series of folders, which means that even though this setup looks super minimal, there is still quick access to virtually as many apps as you'd like. Down towards the bottom right, we have another widget from the Minimal UI widget pack. I promise they're not today's sponsor, but this one has been customized slightly and obviously serves as an instructional piece of text explaining how to get into the app drawer, but also tapping on that will trigger the app drawer as well. And speaking of the app drawer, nothing too crazy here, although the icons are using icons from the iJuck icon pack, which is a nice distinction from the home screen. One thing to keep in mind is that this setup works best for phones without a navigation bar. Otherwise, that bottom widget looks awkward and out of place. But aside from that, that's about it for this setup. Very minimal, but with some good functionality baked in as well. But that is it for this episode. As always, each and every asset, including the Nova backup files, will be included down in the notes below. So if you're interested in loading these setups onto your own devices, then those files will get you on your way. As well as that, let me know which of the setups was your favorite and why down in the comments below. But aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching and I will catch you later.